everyone, I'm Mike Morano, and this week's episode is all about achieving success in your life. One of the ways I've been researching on how to do that is to use The Secret. Do you know The Secret? It's that book that tells you how to generate wealth and prosperity in your life. And it's, it says to do it by the law of attraction, which means you put out great energy and it comes back to you. And when I started writing everything down, I realized that I had actually been doing it all wrong. <laughs> I had been using The Secret as a verb instead of a noun. And so, and so instead of attracting wealth and prosperity, I've actually been secreting wealth for the past 18 months. And it's not been good. And that's the only secretion I've had to deal with. Now, when I was researching this, I wanted to look at some people who are great at using the secret. People who don't even try, but generate amazing results. And the first person that comes to mind is, of course, Barack Obama. I mean, this is a man who, after three years in the Senate, was able to become president of the United States. This is a man who, after becoming president, within two weeks was nominated for, and then won, a Nobel Peace Prize. This is a man whose face represents a very progressive America, but who has done to win this Nobel Peace Prize about absolutely nothing, which is really what I'm prepared to do in any given direction. So we have to learn from that. Um, and don't take my word for it. Barack Obama knows he's done nothing for this. Take a look at the clip. I am both surprised and deeply humbled by the decision of the Nobel Committee. The President of the United States and then the Nobel Peace Prize. And I thought, my god, this guy knows how to use the secret. If he can do these things, what's there left to do? What could he possibly do that would be bigger than the Nobel Peace Prize? And then sure enough, last week at the Human Rights Campaign speech, oh yeah, he trumped it. Take a look. Thank you so much, all of you. Uh, it is a privilege uh, to be here tonight to open for Lady Gaga. He's done it all. I mean, Barack Obama just became the first black man to open for Lady Gaga. Usually it's the other way around. I love Lady Gaga. I have been a fan of her since the very beginning, since she was on So You Think You Can Dance as her debut, and since she was performing at little dive clubs and bars in Atlanta. In fact, I have a funny picture of a show that I saw of hers. I'm in the front row wearing the green. Look for it. <laughs> Do you know Lady Gaga was nominated for this year's American Music Award for Best Artist of the Year? She's my pick. But also nominated were the Kings of Leon, who were great, and uh, Taylor Swift, who's awesome, and Michael Jackson, who's dead. <laughs> Michael Jackson was nominated for an award, and he's dead. Now, do you understand what that means? The, the man has not come out with an album since 2001, and he's nominated for the Artist of the Year Award. This is some major secret in action right here. All he did was die. He's got a movie coming out, he's got nine out of the 10 top downloads on iTunes, and he's nominated for an American Music Award category. Are you kidding? Now he's the genius, he knows what it's like. I think apparently that death is really the way to win awards. In unrelated news, Tupac's album just came out last month. He died in 1996. Well, that's all from Mike Morano. See you next time.